Looking at print and starting with newspapers, the newspapers are stable, but when you look at dailies, there's a significant loss in the daily newspapers, especially in Limpopo and the Western Cape. We see that in Limpopo, we can attribute the loss to Daily Sun and Sowetan, whereas in Western Cape, it's quite a number of papers that have experienced a loss. Going into magazines, the magazines are comparable. They haven't uh, been affected that much, but they still a downward trend in the medium. And then moving to radio, radio has also remained unchanged, but we see that community radio stations are trending upwards. And in the previous survey, we were measuring a total of 255 radio stations. In the current survey, we're measuring 279 radio stations, of which 239 are community stations. So there's much more access to an, a lot of community stations for people. And then moving off to television, in total, television has also remained unchanged, but there is a number of terrestrial stations that have experienced a significant loss. ETV has lost significantly in the Western Cape and in Limpopo, where it, while uh, SABC1 has also lost significantly also in Limpopo and the Western Cape. SABC2 is trending downwards, while SABC3 is okay, they are, they are not really uh, that affected. The positive thing is that DSTV has grown significantly in the Western Cape and in Cape Town. Then moving to cinema, we see that cinema continues to trend downwards, uh, especially looking at the LSM 9 to 10 people. In the past 12 months, the, the, the figures for people who've gone to uh, cinemas has gone down. and. It could be attributed to the fact that people in LSM 9 to 10 have access to DSTV box office. In the previous survey, we had 425,000 LSM 9 to 10 people watching movies via DSTV box office. But in the current survey, this figure has gone up significantly. We're now standing at 503,000 LSM 9 to 10 people accessing movies via uh, DSTV box office. So this might, we're not saying it is definitely, but it might be affecting uh, the number of people who are going to, to movies. Um, looking at internet, internet is telling a positive story. It's grown in all avenues from LSM 1 to 4, LSM 5 to 7, LSM 8 to 10. It's positive all the way through. There's much more people accessing uh, the internet in past seven days, yesterday, in past four weeks, there's growth all around. Going back to the internet, I just wanna uh, focus on, on, on social networking and show that social networking has gone up. We see that Facebook and uh, Twitter are dominating the, the social networking scene. And one in three people in the country engage in a medium because of a comment that has been made on WhatsApp Facebook or on Twitter. So somebody will go and watch a TV program or listen to a radio program simply because of a comment that they've seen on one of those social networks. Moving to LSMs, um, there isn't much happening there, but there's a positive uh, move from the lower LSMs to the higher LSMs, where you see people moving from LSM 4 to 5 and then from 5 to 7 and then from 8 to 10. So there's that positive push upwards in the LSM uh, groups. So in December 14, 22.4% uh, uh, was in LSM 1 to 3 and now it is at 22.5. It's a slight move. And then for LSM 5 to 7, in December 14, the figure was at 52.5. It is still at 52.5. And then looking at LSM 8 to 10, uh, in December 14, the figure was 25%. Now it's slightly moved at 25.1. So there's that slight push towards the higher LSMs, but it's not significant movement. Looking at uh, average household income, we're seeing a positive story there because in the previous survey, the monthly average household income was standing at 10,525 and now it is standing at 11,017. And we see that the lower uh, household income salaries, the salaries 
from 799 up to 4099 have gone down and there's a, a significant increase in people who earn above 20,000 rand a month looking at uh, uh, more positive trends when we come to the number of people who have metric and higher we see that there's an upward uh, trend Currently, there's 48.5% of 15 plus adults with a metric compared to 47.1% in the previous survey. And looking at the working status, we see that the figure for people who work full time has gone up. It's now at 28.5% compared to 27.8%, which shows that more than two adults are working in the family compared to the previous results. For the full report of EMS you can go to the SAF website which is www.saf.co.za and it has all the, 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 the interesting stuff and the interesting figures and the latest figures that you might be interested in.